Hello my convicts and convicts. yes it is I, the Kappa Convict, bringing you guys and gals a new gameplay, as you can see here, joining into Smart Apex. I don't know why we ended up landing into a wall, but yeah, that's how we started the game. So, without further ado, let's get it on. Did you believe that I actually thought today was Sunday? <laughs> yeah, I did. I literally thought it was Sunday, that's why this video is going to be late, I will apologise for that. But I literally thought today was Sunday, and then I looked and I was like, hang on, it's Monday. I'm like, what's going on? So I will apologise firstly because my little boy is here. It is bank holiday Monday and obviously he's off school. But here we go, let's get it on and see what we can do. Don't forget, tomorrow is live stream day. I am going to be live streaming but on Twitch. I will put it in the community tab. I might do a quick vlog as well. But I am going to be recording on Twitch for the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week because people have been requesting me to do so and I thought why not we can try it out and see what happens during those live streams so definitely go check it if you are going to be there and follow me on Twitch it's the Kappa Convict on Twitch you can't miss me and yeah let's get on with this so as you can see first off jumped into a wall I was like what the hell is going on here obviously trying to find the miniguns and as you can see I'm rocking a G7 Scout and <sighs> The P2020. Probably by far one of the worst guns you can use in this game. I think even the Mozambique makes the P2020 look a little bit worse, you know? <laughs> I've, I've, I've had chances where I've actually downed people, the, you know, the Mozambique. The P2020? I don't think I've ever downed anyone with a P2020 as of yet. Or if I have, I don't remember, to be honest. So as you can see, my teammates are running off pretty far. They spotted someone, so I'm like, okay, let me join. Take the balloon, fly in there, try and give them some help and support and see what we can do here. So, yeah. They're attacking people. I was like, well, I've got a P2020 in the GSM scout. And white armor, white helmet. I'm not really going to do a great deal. So I was hoping they could last just a little bit longer. Give me a chance to grab a decent weapon and obviously get back into the game. So as you can see, swapping the P2020 out. Heard the little drone, which I wanted to quickly grab, as that might give me a chance of getting something a little bit better. And obviously being a bit more useful to the team than a meat sack and get uh, just insta-killed by somebody. So take this little guy with me, if we can climb up there that is. Swapping that out for obviously the stock, they need the standard stock as of yet. Normally sometimes I do keep up the hob ups or if there's specific things like barrel stabilizers and chokes and stuff like that, I do try to carry them. So as you can see swapping out the G7, just checking I've got all the ammo I need for the alternator. As I thought I'll try this out. My best gun in the game for me personally so far has got to be the R99. Absolutely insane. I was rocking it a lot when I was doing the live stream of uh, Titanfall 2. Which is called the R91 or the R97. And it's an absolute insane weapon. Definitely pick it up if you see it. Because it can drill people. The hip fire on it is absolutely insane you can dominate for days with the r99 i even at one point during games i've rocked two r99s and absolutely destroyed a team of three attacking me at once that's how good they are especially if you've got the extended mags on them so paul bangalore wasn't ready for me just came out of nowhere trying to figure out where they were guys trying to shoot but my teammates were blocking my shots just a little bit you know it does happen unfortunately from time to time Having white armor, I thought, white armor, I thought I'd heal up first. Make sure I've got enough. Try and get in, which I couldn't, so I thought, right, I just kicked the door in. I meant to shoot, but I tried to punch the guys, like, uh, no. So can I clutch it up? Of course I can. So I can hear there's another guy come in, so I wanted to just quickly grab his ammo. And then here we go, we've got a Wraith, and out she goes for the count as well. Luckily she was only weak. So get him up. A very delayed response there from Lifeline when I was telling them I've just been spotted and taking damage. That uh, that was pretty delayed. So just swapping stuff out. Normally I don't carry. I know a lot of people keep on always tagging the ultimate accelerant. And I guess in a certain sense they do really help Lifeline. Because the care packages can have absolutely anything in them. But... I don't know. I, I, I don't generally carry them myself. I just find them more of a 
a nuisance than anything. And it does take too long just to pop them. It can just take too long to get through it. So I just tend to just not bother with it as such. So I was thinking what I wanted here. Kind of drifted towards going to the top for the Spitfire. So I'm just trying to pick these up, obviously, for my flatline. Wow, I really want this, but I don't know what to swap. <laughs> it's my thoughts here, it's like, well, what do I change? I've got all these healings and stuff, and I was like, do I really want to change them? And there's my gun, there's my baby. I was like, yeah, I'm definitely taking that, the R99. I just love this gun. So another guy turns up. So I'm like, okay, if he's going to obviously focus on them there, maybe they'll come to the side, which they did. And I didn't mean to shut the door at that point, but I was like, okay, and let's pull back a little bit further, flank around, because there was a Pathfinder, generally Pathfinder will physically climb on top. So that's what I was kind of thinking here. Then I heard, obviously, this guy coming in, who's got a devotion. So I'm waiting for him to have to, re to restart. But obviously, he's going to screw himself over. Because the problem with the devotion is you've got to physically have you've got to physically have the the hub up, the turbocharger in order for the devotion to be really good in the circumstance where someone keeps engaging and disengaging from you. If you don't, it can be pretty rough. So again, just trying to grab whatever I can. Still thinking I don't really need anything else. Help my teammate at the top who seems like he's getting intact. Try and figure out where they are now. So, eventually figure out he's over there. I'm not too bothered by him, he's down. I'm just scouting the area, trying to find the other person. Because there was someone else here. Let me know in the comments below as well something important. Are you having issues of sliding and sometimes using Octane's jump pad? I've been having a lot of issues with this. It's been really frustrating and annoying for me. I've been dying a lot to this. Where you try to slide, you don't slide, you crouch. And then you do like, it's almost like you're trying to teabag. And you're like, no, I want to slide, you idiot. Just slide. And many times I've died. Sometimes in school town, we have to go under the... The really low doors, the metal doors that you have to go under, you have to slide under. I've not been able to slide under them. I don't know what's going on with the game. I've tweeted at Apex to please fix it because it is a huge problem. And I always thought it was just when you're in gunfights, but it seems to be when you're not in gunfights as well. It just happened. It just does it randomly itself for some reason. I don't know why, but it's really annoying. So I can see these guys going up top, so I was like, okay, that's where I need to go. At least have the higher ground. Trying to figure out which side they might be going to. Have a little sneaky peeky inside. I can hear somebody, I just can't quite see where they are. And I saw someone I really wanted, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna go in here and go grab this. Because having the stocks are really, really important, especially for swapping weapons, which is what the stock does. It doesn't really help you in strafing or anything. It just helps so you can swap between one and the other gun faster. So do remember that if you want to swap your guns from one to the other quicker, you need to have a stock. And it'll only swap you from that gun you've got, the stock on. So you won't be able to do it with both guns if you don't have, obviously, a higher grade stock for both of the weapons. So, just chilling out for a moment, getting tagged to where people are, mainly up top. So, pushing, obviously I need to look at trying to get round to the high ground. So, just quickly checking around. Looks fully looted, as you can see, so I was like, okay, I'm not even going to bother. And it's the guy up there, obviously I want to try and get to let the team know he's there. So I can tell my team is getting attacked now, so it's trying to figure out, see him up top here. Take a couple of shots, just see if we can scare him a little bit. And as you can see, gone to single mode, because single mode, especially on the flatline, is much, much better. Because it does kick like a mule, as I say. It kicks really heavy. But as you can see, single fire, I've destroyed his shield. 
I'm just waiting for him again. Just checking my sense out here because I missed a few shots in the beginning and that was obviously making me think, is my sensitivity a bit off? Because as you all know, I use the advanced look controls to continuously change around my sensitivity to try and get the best out of both sensitivity because I use a lot of the advanced look controls. Something I really want a lot of the other games, such as like Call of Duty and Fortnite to add in is the extra yaw, extra pitch and more advanced look controls because they're so good in this game. This game is absolutely beautiful for the configuration you can do to the actual sensitivity of your right thumbstick. It's amazing. They really need to consider doing this in all other games because it has spoiled me a lot. The amount I've been able to do and the customization I've been able to do to my actual aim in this game. So as you can see, just tagging the crap out of this enemy. So I'm going back to fully auto because I'm going to go in close. Try and grab our teammate here. And I thought, okay, he's already down, so I don't need to bother with him. It's these down here I need to kill. So I got him. And here's number two. As you can see, how good the R99 is. Just absolutely decimated that poor man's health. And now I can go in for the steal and grab this teammate's banner and get out of there. Making the jump onto the top. Try and find out where I want to go. I, I thought I might go around, but uh, obviously with my teammate saying he's going in there, so... Or making his move in there. I try to follow teammates because they do generally get down really easy at times, so you have to always keep on top. But, you know, with all, all the people I play with, these were a really, really good team. It was just really unfortunate that the Octane character got knocked down. So Taylor's zip line up top. I can hear them fighting to my right over here. So I'm like, okay, all I need to do is get my teammate in. He's close to the zone here, so he can get back in. And I was like, no, I'll not do it. Because the one thing and reason I stopped is because I thought if there's people here, they're going to obviously first them, and he's got no guns, and it's going to make it really difficult for me to be able to do anything for him. So here I pull up and think, well, we can heal each other. The drone will stop him from wasting any heals, and then once we're fully healed, we can just jump out there and hopefully kill them. So that was the plan. So I'm following my teammate. Get back in. Get a quick heal in before we start. And away we go. So I know there's people up there. My teammate's getting shot at, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to go to him. So I was hoping he wasn't gonna see me, and he didn't, luckily. And luckily, my teammate may have covered me there as well because she was physically using her shield. Sometimes, if you shoot at the body of your teammates and stuff, they'll not catch you. So he's got gold armor, I was like, oh my god, I'm dead. But luckily, gold armor is only as good as purple armor. A lot of people get the mistake that gold armor is super, super powerful. It isn't. One good thing of having such as like the gold backpack and gold helmet is they have an extra feature to them. Like you can faster heal or you can use your ability. You get your ability faster, I think it is, for the helmet. And your backpack helps you to heal faster. But as in the shield itself... It doesn't have any higher grade than purple. Purple's the highest grade and basically gold is as strong as purple. Because I thought gold was really, really super powerful. It's not. It's literally the same as purple. Because I've had my, my gold arm shredded so, so easy. So just, as you can see, the amount of stuff I've got here is like, okay, what do I want? What do I not want need? Just trying to pick out all the better parts of what I might actually need here. Absolutely insane amount of shield cells and health cells. Something I probably don't need as much. I could have probably taken up more the idea of having such as like bombs and stuff would have probably been a better idea. Now normally I ping stuff out. I don't know why I didn't ping the purple backpack there. I've always got a habit of pinging especially higher tier loot. 
for people just in case. So I'm telling my teammate to come over here. He didn't. He went the other way. I was like, come this way. And then he's now being spotted. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You've gone the other way. I pinged it to come this way and he's gone that way. I wanted to bring the teammate back into the game at least. And at least give him a chance to fight it out with us, you know. Because it's the last time I might be able to do this. So as you can see, he's gone about to go down. I've just about spawned my teammate in. Dropped the lifeline package to help him. So he's, he might have a good shield possibly when he comes into the game. Now I'm going to try and run back to my other teammate and hope to help him out. But luckily he wasn't too far as you can see, he's pretty close now. So if he does go down, at least I'm just a couple of steps away from him. Come back and help support, hoping our other teammate from behind doesn't get attacked. Which he didn't, I did th think he did then, I was just about to say he did, but he didn't. He's just using his special perk to run. That's the only thing that tricks me with Octane, is you never know. Now, I was thinking, hang on, he was waiting there and obviously waiting. I thought they might come this way and have gone round, because he obviously knew we would be on the side. So I assumed this is where they was going to come from, around this way. And this is where they were going to end up coming in and try and flank us from this direction, which is why I came here to sort of keep on this eye on this area. And as you can see, just checking it out. Just wondering is people, just telling people, I'm just going to watch this eye on this area. Because you never know, they could come from this way. Or they could push through the storm the front way. So I'm just waiting here. My teammates are close now anyway, and we are in the circle. So it wasn't too bad. So I was just looking around, making sure teammates covered. Keeping an eye out on this potential area, because this, if anywhere, is going to be where the people are going to go to, because they're going to go down to swamps, I think it is. That's down there. And they're just going to obviously chill out in the buildings down here and wait for the final round. So, for my teammate, obviously, because I carry a lot of stuff, I dropped him a load of shield and health and stuff, help him out, keep him up and running. And I've got some major big health packs here as well. I'll let him know if he needs a med kit. Big med kit. There's one there. Just a little nod there to say, yep, yeah, uh, I know. Uh, and he's dropped me an uh, ultimate accelerant. The only times I kind of bother to use them, really. I don't generally mess with them too much. But yeah, don't forget, if you've got gold, like I've got gold body armor here, it does not give you any more strength than the level 3 purple armor. It, it doesn't give you any more. Even though it's got more tabs on it, I believe it has. It has? No, no, it's actually got the same. I thought it had 5 tabs. That's 1, 2... No, it's got 4. So it has got the same, the same amount of tabs as... Quarters, as you can see, how it's quartered into different sections. It's only got four, the same as what purple. I thought it had five, but it doesn't. So, as we can hear them fighting, now's the time to push. But I did hear someone to my left here. Eventually, I'm running. But they've gone the other way. But I'm sure I hear someone here, which I did. So, I'm just letting them know there is a dude somewhere over here. I didn't know if it was a, a one person or more, so I was just going to ambush them. So, he's over here, on his own, bless him. Absolutely shredded out his armor and his health. He's almost gone. I don't know how I didn't kill him there, I was like, okay. And luckily teammates took him out before I could actually get to him and finish him. So again, back to what do we need? I wasn't too fussed. All I need is just a few bits. Just checking behind. Always make sure you do that. More times than any, when people be looting, you have someone jump on you. So you always need to make sure you check your back and just make sure there's no more else. Now, obviously, the best way to figure that out is if they instantly die when you knock them. They should instantly die if they've got no more squad mates. If they haven't, they'll just go into a shield. Or onto like crawling and with the shield. 
So it's the best way to know if obviously there's more coming. If you do down them and they have the shield bit and the crawling, don't just try and loot them straight away unless it's really necessary because you never know how far his teammates are from them. Always make sure you're ready. So he's in the building there, as you can see. Camping away as they always do. So I wasn't going to shoot any more, it's pointless. So just run around and obviously get engaged on this side. Anyway, I'm going to do my exit intro here, or my outro, whatever you want to call it. So you know it is. It is I, the Camp Convict. I'm signing out. And as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts, and I'll see you in the next one. And we'll just see what the end result is. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new. And there we go. Yay took them out and we became the champion so don't forget subscribe like and tomorrow i will be live streaming once again from half past 10 till half past two but don't forget it will be on twitch i will put it on my community tab on my main page which you will be able to see the tabs at the top and there we go and i got seven kills hopefully enjoyed and once again i will see you in the next one bye for now